there. I am shooting this video to demonstrate my sort of dirty fix on trying to get a solid state drive into my iMac uh, 2007 24 inch model and um, I'll skip all of the, the tear apart uh, process because you can find that on YouTube anyway um, much better, better videos than I could present. Um, so yeah, uh, let me show you what I found and maybe point out a few little issues that I didn't see represented in other videos that um, might help you guys along the way if you're trying to do the same thing. Okay, here we are. I've already gotten to the point of removing the dead hard drive. Um, the, this area is now ready to receive the solid state drive. Um, before I show you, show you what I have planned for that, I did want to show... Um, a mistake I made the first time around which was I removed the power cord for the LCD from the power supply here underneath here first and left this piece attached to the LCD. This is not the easy way to go so I recommend plugging, unplugging this from the LCD instead leaving this in place. Um, you'll have to remove a little bit of tape on the back side of the LCD um, but that's far easier to, you know, to reapply after plugging this in than it is trying to fish under here with the LCD sort of resting on your hand, especially if you don't have anyone helping you do this. Okay, so if you're like me, you were pretty excited about this upgrade, thought it would go uh, smoothly, you bought yourself the adapter, the 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch adapter for your solid state drive, and there's there's the drive I bought. I bought a Crucial, um, I think it's 256, 256 gigabyte drive. Um, can't see it there. Anyway, so, you know, I got this all set up, and you may have noticed, I don't have the pegs screwed in, but just for demonstration purposes here. Um, if you got this lined in where the previous 3.5 inch drive was there is no way maybe if you had it this way like it's supposed to be okay. there is no way that is gonna make that reach the power or the data cable to the drive connection it's just not even close um, if you want to continue to use the you know Apple's connection points here. So that means you have to come up with something different. Now there are different adapters online that I think are probably designed for this exact situation, probably fit better. Um, but if you've already made this mistake like myself, you're frustrated, I'm going to show you a really cheap um, hack that and make this work so you can get your computer back up and running. Okay, so as you can see, I've already plugged in the new drive. I took it out of the caddy. Uh, I'll just, I don't know what I'll do with that, maybe return it. Um, now, this is interesting, right? It just sort of rests there like that. These cables are very stiff, so this isn't so great. You know, I don't know if this thing's going to move around, if the, you know, the computer, when I tilt it up in this normal position, this will fall, and it just doesn't seem ideal. So, guess what? You can do this. Boom. Flat. Nice. Okay, so that's not ideal either. So, we've got that. That is the key. An ex very expensive solution <laughs> that you can probably find at Walgreens. Maybe not, but a craft store. Or if you're really desperate and don't want to leave the house, Amazon.